Yeah. Hey y'all, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Bad and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all of the things. If you are an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, you know how we do. Happy Friday. Oh my God, my windows are so foggy this morning. Jeez. <sighs> we made it. The weekend is here. The weekend has arrived. I'm super duper excited, okay? Oh, it was really a short week because I had Monday off. And, um, yeah, so I'm headed to my the business that pays me after I pick up my coffee. All right, hold on, guys. It's my turn. Let me scan because, you know, I need my points. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, thanks. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope you guys had an amazing week, by the way, as well. I did the week just, all I did was work. Um, I do have a few errands I need to run today. I will take you girls with me. Sorry, my windows are so foggy. But, um, yeah. So, and thank you for all the love and support on my videos. Um, I appreciate it, guys. I really, really do. Um, my channel is growing um, and I'm super excited about it so yeah I'm really really excited and of course it's growing because of you guys so but anyway oh, here she comes with my sandwich thank you you too so anyway I just wanted to come on and start the vlog pick you pick you girls up so I don't um, the, the phone doesn't fall but yeah, I'm just headed to work. Uh, I need to run a few errands on my lunch break. Oh my God, these windows. Let me pull over because I cannot, I cannot drive like this. I'm already blind. So anyway, guys, I wanted to show you guys these, um, these earphones I got from Dollar Tree. Let me see if my window, oh, I need to get gas. Oh, oh. My life is ghetto. I gotta get gas. Oh, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these. I'm gonna hook these up when I get to work. I was gonna do it last night, but I, I fell asleep. I didn't have time. But I got these from the Dollar 25 store, you, also known as Dollar Tree, but it ain't really Dollar Tree no more because everything is a Dollar 25 and up. Y'all, these windows are really making me mad. What am I doing wrong? Anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold y'all. Um, I do need to get on down this road, and I do need to stop and get gas. But I will ch I will um, report back about these because um, I lost one of my AirPods. Don't ask me how. I think one of my kids jacked me. So I've only been having one AirPod. But someone hit, did hit me up on Insta and said that I can order another one off of eBay. So we'll see. Um, I just didn't want to buy a whole new set. I, I didn't know you could just buy one. Baby, Apple be all about their coins, okay? For real. But anyway, even if I can get another one of these, I will probably use these for the gym because I don't know if I told you, um, girls, one time I was using the Stairmaster and my AirPod actually fell into the Stairmaster machine. And it took like two days for me to get my um, AirPod out because me and the machine had to be this. I mean, it was just a big old ordeal. So, needless to say, I only wear my AirPods like when I'm gonna do weights or maybe a treadmill. I that's one of the reasons why I don't get on the stairmaster is because I lost my AirPod in there. But yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me get on down this road. Let me um, go mind the business that pays me, and I will talk back with you girls. Hey y'all! Happy Saturday. So I am up cleaning and um yeah the dust has attacked my allergies so i'm about to head to the store and get i need to, i need to go to the store anyway to get a few things i need trash bags and a few other things and i also just need to go ahead and re-up on my nasal spray um i am gonna wear my skims dress <laughs> judge yo mama <laughs> um yeah so this dress is from skims i absolutely love it i bought this right before my surgery 
And I knew that, you know, once I had my surgery, I loved it before my surgery, but of course I love it even more now with my slim tummy, but, uh, or with my flat tummy, but yeah, I plan on getting more colors. I want a cream color. I want the olive and also want the pink. So, but, um, yeah, I will link the dress, um, down in the description box. I will have my like to know it link because that's where I have it linked, but this dress is, by skims um and yeah i did not get a chance to do anything that i said i was gonna do yesterday honey because work kicked my butt work literally kicked my butt y'all so but um yeah so i need to finish cleaning up around here um sean and i are hanging out today we are going to um an art exhibit here um it's in the heights they have free art hold on let me turn the cam camera around hey y'all so um they have what they call every or second saturday um every second saturday of the month in the heights they have free art exhibits um well of course you can purchase the art but it's free to get in they have several vendors there um it's in the heights here in houston and so we're gonna go and do that today but i need to finish picking up around here um he's gonna pick me up later today I think it's from like 12 to 5, so we're going to do that. But I need to run to the store real quick because your girl has nothing, okay? Nothing. Peanut butter, no jelly. Cereal, no milk. You know, that's how ghetto we living around here. But um, yeah, guys, just um, picking up today. Going to head out later with Sean. Just a chill Saturday. I don't know what we're going to do after the art exhibit, but... um. And a lot of you have asked about my hair. I need to blend that in a little bit better. Um, I did not put any heat on my hair for the last couple of days because last Saturday, child, your girl was curling and flat ironing. So that's why it looks really, really frizzy, but I'll fix it later today. But anyway, this hair is loose wave Brazilian or loose body wave Brazilian hair. And I got it from She's Happy Hair. Now, we have local boutiques here in Houston, but they are online. So, I will put the company's information in the description if any of you are interested, which I know several of you are because you've either, you've either hit me up in the comments or on Instagram. So, but anyway, I'm rambling. Y'all see Fiddle back there? She used to be a baby, okay? When I say baby, she used to be a baby. Look at her. I'm a proud mama. Y'all see Monstera? I just watered her. So, but anyway, guys, I'll be back. Y'all, I decided to come to Walmart instead of Target. So I don't spend all my money. Because in Target, I would have got Starbucks. I just would have been doing the most. I just need trash bags and paper towels. <laughs> okay, guys, so... I passed through the dresses <laughs> and I found this cute little number. I saw um, Nita Danielle wear this in one of her videos or maybe it was a reel, I'm not real sure. But anyway, super cute. It has cutouts on the side um, and I think it's just very um, summer um, appropriate as well as appropriate for the outing um, that I am going on today to the art um, exhibit. So yeah, I have my tan sandals by H&M that I can wear with this. What do y'all think? I think she's cute. Um, if I can find the link, I will link it. Um, but again, it is on clearance, so I don't know how many um, they will have left in stock because this is like the only large, this is a size large by the way, and it fits perfect. So yeah, super cute. All right, let me get out of here before I spend any more money. Okay guys, so I did pick up um, this dress from Walmart. I'm gonna wear this today, um, but I did pick up another dress from um, Rainbow. <laughs> I stopped in Rainbow yesterday because uh, one of the, uh, I was watching a reel fashion reel what did i do with that dress and the um the woman in the reel what did i do with that dress hold on y'all okay y'all 
it fell off the floor. I do not recommend those gold hangers. Um, I'm just probably going to just switch them all out for velvet. But it, it fell on the floor. That's why I couldn't find it. But I know it doesn't look like much on the hanger. But let me try it on for you guys. All right, guys. So I got this dress from Rainbow. I absolutely love it. Now, if you guys remember, um, I had got a dress like this right when I had my surgery. It was similar to this. It was a little bit longer. I got it from H&M. But I returned it because it was just really too big up in here. But this is more of a knit material. It's actually a really good material guys um and it hugs my hips a little bit better the other one was a large this dress is a large as well the other one um was a large and um but the material kind of made it droop on my hips now with that being said this is a large and they had a brown and a medium um i'm gonna go back and get that one because this dress was only 15 dollars, guys 15 dollars. so um I feel like I can get away with this on Tuesday. Me and Nicole are going to hang out for, um, I don't know if we're just going to do like dinner or happy hour. I have not seen my girl in forever. So I kind of feel like this can be vacation, but it could also be like a fun night out with the girls as well as a date night dress. Absolutely date night for sure. But yeah, so I'm going to wear this and then I'm going to pair it with this bag that I have not worn in forever. This bag is from Nordstrom. I got it last summer. I had it kind of bunched up in my closet, so I kind of need to lay it out, kind of flatten it, but it also doesn't have anything in it. So, and yeah, I'm gonna wear probably some cute little heels, do my hair, and I was thinking about putting on a hat. But yeah, guys, I will look and see if a rainbow has if I can link it, um, I will. But again, it's it's from Rainbow. It was actually on clearance. I don't know the regular price, but this dress to me is definitely worth $15. Um, so what I was thinking was getting, so I don't think, well, I guess I could be able to wear this bra with it. Because when I originally tried it on, um, I didn't have on a bra. But now that I have on my little lacy number, I think this would be really cute with a little bit of lace poking out. Yeah, I love this bra, guys. This bra is from Target. So, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love it. I am going to go back and get the brown one. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So, I had to change my outfit because I wanted to wear or I needed to wear a hat because I do not want to put any heat or unnecessary heat on my hair. So, um, this dress is from H&M. It's super old. Um, I bought it last year to wear to um, New York. If you've seen my New York vlog, then uh, you've seen this dress. My sandals are, or my slides are from Target. They're also very old. And then my hat is also from Target, very old. So yeah, Sean is downstairs. So <laughs> let me get out of here. And then I'm just gonna carry um, probably my black clutch to tie it all together and yeah and i'm gonna put on my chanel lip gloss i'll take a picture of my face in the car all right all right guys i'm just gonna show you the bag i'm gonna go ahead and carry this bag i think it kind of just makes it look very interesting and we're going to our art thing so you know you can just do your own thing <laughs> all right y'all i'm gone bye <laughs> Wow, that is so pretty. So this is the winter. Okay. Don't look like my stomach. <laughs> what you laughing at? Nola <laughs> one day. Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty. And you said she's only eight years old? Yeah. Wow, she's well, tall. Well, she was about four feet tall when I got her. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, if you... If
So these are all pill bottles of hydrocodone. This is deep though. This is this is real deep. So this is the death of America, right? The death of the American dream. Let me show you Mickey Mouse. How they got Mickey upside. This is real deep, y'all. <laughs> I like it though. I mean, but it's true. How many of our people are hooked on painkillers? Wow. Hey y'all, long time no vlog. I apologize. I have not vlogged since Saturday and I really need to get this um, vlog out to you. Girls, I apologize for being off schedule because I really am, but y'all, I'm just, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, I haven't been doing very much and I personally, well, I watch them anyway, but I personally do not want to upload a vlog where I'm not doing anything. You girls might be okay with it because some of the subjects that we talk about, um, you guys really, really enjoy. You enjoy my content. You you enjoy the conversations and um, just the inspiration. But sometimes I feel like I talk too much and I can ramble. So yeah, I just didn't want to vlog me not doing anything. And, and I have this mask here because I'm trying to cover a company logo. I no longer work for this company, but I do occasionally wear this shirt to work, as you can as you can tell. I am headed to a mind the business that pays me. Um, but first, we're going to get some coffee. I'm actually a little bit hungry, but I don't know if I'm going to eat this early. I haven't decided yet, but I do have dinner scheduled with Nicole later this evening. Um, so I don't know if I will take you guys along for that because I'm trying to get this vlog out today. Today, I'm already running behind. I'm not going to lie. I was waiting on some sponsored content to be approved to go ahead and put in this vlog, but it did not get approved yet. So we'll have that in the next video. But I wanted to come on and just um, just tell you guys what I've been up to, which has been nothing. Um, the last few clips that you girls should have saw, um, me and Sean were on a day date. We went to um, the Houston Heights, went to Sawyer Yards, and just looked at some um, some artwork. And then we just grabbed a bite to eat, and we went home. Um, Sean met. Um, my oldest son and my youngest daughter because both of them were at home. So he has met two of my children um, That went really really well uh, Me and Sean have been dating for about six months now. So um, it was time um, He met the kids um, I have not met his son yet. His son does not live here in Houston. So I anticipate doing that um, you know whenever he comes into town, but anyway guys yes Bay has met the kids so he's met two of them he gotta meet the other two which we'll go find because he met the toughest one which is Shelby um and you know she's my baby so she will be with me um for the longest I guess because <laughs> she's only 15 so um but yeah uh, one of you ladies one of my girls reached out to me and she wanted me to touch on a subject of uh, friendship um particularly I guess with other women and my views on that and so I figured this would be a great time to kind of chit chat um about it because I'm headed to work um I don't want to be too long-winded but my take on friendships is that they're important um it's very important to have um people other than blood relatives um and probably even other than your spouse um <clears throat> to um be friends with someone that you can trust someone that you can lean on because guys <clears throat> you know we weren't we were not meant to be here alone whether it's through um the help of family the help of um a spouse uh just regular romantic relationships you know people that are not married and also through friends we were not meant to be alone we were we were put on this earth to be together to be with other people um to procreate and to have kids and to multiply you know a lot of us are at the stage in our lives where we're not multiplying anymore that would be me so um my relationship is not the relationship that i'm in of course we will not be making more children but we were, we were put together to rely on each other to love on each other and to make our lives better so i think that um, friendships are very very important and I also think that 
friendships later in life can be some of the best friendships because you um, guys know that me and Nicole only met a short maybe four or five years ago and we are best friends. Now, do I still have friends that I grew up with? Absolutely. I, I still keep in touch with a lot of them. We're not as close as we used to be because of course people grow apart. But I do have um, friends that I went to middle school with and I, that I went to high school with and even um, nursing school. So um, I think that the term friend can be used very loosely. So you do have to be careful who you call a friend. Uh, my definition of a friend is someone, my main definition, let me just say this, it is someone that you can trust and rely on, okay, you can share um, information with, but of course, we shouldn't be sharing everything with everybody, okay, y'all, leave some mystery, folks, okay, um, but you can share things with people and they won't judge you, okay, they will be there for you just to listen, just to vent, they don't necessarily have to give you their advice unless um, you want their advice or their opinion but a friend is there to listen okay to not pass judgment to allow you to vent okay friendships are also to have fun to share e exciting experiences with right to grow with you grow in a friendship and you also have to nurture the friendship okay friendships cannot be one-sided and I also truly believe that you can not talk to a friend for a few days and y'all still be friends okay well you do not have to talk every day we have touched on this subject before but um uh the story of me and nicole nicole sent me a dm or i like to say or we like to say she slid in your girl dms and we had so many things in common i mean it was like a no-brainer but if I'm being 100% honest and transparent, me and Nicole have not spoken at times. We fit, we found our way back to each other because baby, I'm a Gemini and she's an Aries. So, you know, things happen, okay? But a true friendship will stand the test of time. Absolutely, no doubt. So I do think friendships, sisterhoods are very, very important. Very, very important. So much so, I think, in la later in life, because as you get older, as you mature, as you become wiser, you truly understand the meaning of a true friendship or sisterhood. So, um, again, you have to be very careful who you allow into your circle. Everyone is not going to be a true friend. I do believe you can have associates. I do believe you can have um, a person for this, a person for that. You know, you can... Yeah. I, I think if you've watched Helen's video, she says she has a friend for this, a friend for that, you know, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, everyone has a role to play. Um, as long as both of you understand your role in that person's life, I say go for it. I say go for it. Um, I'm truly, truly grateful that Nicole did reach out to me when she did uh, about five years ago because I needed a friend. Um, she has been uh, with me through some really, really tough times and I, you know, I am doing the same and I intend to do the same. Um, so yeah, friendships are definitely important. Just remember that it takes two people to grow a friendship. You have to work on a friendship. Uh, me and Nicole are having dinner tonight. I have not seen my bestie in quite some time. Um, if you are not new here, then you already know what she has been going through. And I just give her her space. And then COVID, the numbers um, for COVID are on the rise. So she is not getting out as much as she would like to. So we are going to meet up at Crew Wine Bar. Y'all, Crew is my new spot, baby. Crew is my new spot. So we're going to kiki and hi hi tonight. Hold on, y'all. I'm Kevin Gates these days. I got two phones, baby. But no, seriously, I'm on call. So hold on. Hello. Hello. Hi, Shina. How are you? I'm fine. Been here by now. Let me call her and see where she is, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, bye. Anyway, guys, 
hmm, the life of a nurse or the life of being on call because I think other jobs have you on call but yes it is my on call week so it's probably going to be very busy but y'all I hate this angle I look real bloated okay okay but um yeah that is really all I wanted to talk about um I hope that answers your question, sis. That's that's truly how I feel about friends and about friendships. And I'm going to be honest, I don't have a lot of friends. And because, one, um, I am a social butterfly, but at the same time, I also feel like I'm an energy person. Well, I don't feel, I know. I am an energy person. I go off of energy and I go off of vibes. And everybody can't be in my space. That's just on period. And I'm not going to lie. I am a huge extrovert. But sometimes I got a little bit of introvert in me and I just don't, I just don't be liking people like that. I'm not going to lie. I just don't be liking people like that. I have the people that I like. I'm very happy with the people that I like in my life and we're going to keep it that way. Now, not to say that I'm not open to new friends because I feel like I have a gang of girlfriends on the internet and a lot of you say y'all are coming to Houston and girl, if we can link up, let's link up. Let's do it. You know, let's hang out. Um, but I'm just at a season in my life where I'm so happy. I have so much joy. Um, I don't I don't do drama and I love the people that love me. <laughs> Period. I, I love the people that love me. So yeah, but um your girl gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts today. Um I wanted an iced coffee. Why did I go to Dunkin' Donuts yesterday? I don't even remember. I ended up getting Starbucks yesterday. And Starbucks was getting on my last nerve. But I'm going to get me some Dunkin' today. Um, go knock this work out. So I can meet up with my girl. And I will see you ladies. So I left out one thing um, about friendships. Is that there has to be boundaries. That's real, real important. There has to be boundaries and those boundaries have to be respected. Okay. When you get into a friendship <clears throat> or if you are, if, or if you are in a friendship and your friend does not respect your boundaries, get new friends, get new friends, because no matter how long y'all have been friends, whether y'all are best friends, tight, like, you know, whatever, Every, I mean, every person in any kind of relationship, work, romantic, friendships, need boundaries. And when that person person continues to overstep those boundaries or doesn't know how to respect your boundaries, I guess that's the same thing. Um, girl, 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 it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, yeah. So boundaries is very, very important. Um you have to set them you have to be very clear on them and when someone is overstepping them you also have to be like look this is what we're not gonna do okay i'm gonna need you to respect my boundaries sis okay and it's okay to give a person a couple of chances um because maybe you know boundaries is new to them but at this age boundaries should not be new okay at this age but <clears throat> again set your boundaries make sure that your friend is respecting those boundaries and that is another key component to having friends or having a successful friendship so okay i'm done for real now bye okay guys so here is my outfit these pants are super old um i used to sell these when i had a boutique um my top is from amazon hat is from target don't mind my bed i did not make it up today judge your mama my purse is from Amazon, and then I'm not even going to lie, it is raining outside. I am definitely going to throw on my um, Gucci slides. I'm not even going to deal with any um, heels. So, yeah, I'm about to go and meet Nicole for some dinner and some drinks. And this is my O-O-T-Z, baby. I'm feeling extra flat today. <laughs> yeah, go me. <laughs> All right, y'all. See y'all later. Bye. And my fragrance of the night is going to be my Carolina Herrera Good Girl with my um, Alien Goddess. I'm going to mix both of those. All right. Bye.